Hello, N4H&H here. I had a request uh, from one of my subscribers uh, to go through the menu settings that I use on my FTDX 5000 MP. Uh, I can't cover them all in one video without it being too long, so I'm going to attack this in stages. Uh, this video is going to focus on, and I've already, if you've watched previous videos, I've already covered the settings that I use for transmit, sideband transmit audio. Um, right now I'm going to go through what, how I set things up for receive um, audio. So I'm on, I'll just start out here with uh, menus 53 through 56, which control the CW receive audio. Um, get, get some CW in there. So what you're doing here on 53 is you're adjusting the low frequency that you're going to uh, um, affect. And uh, now what do I mean by effect? So low cut frequency, I've got it set on 500 and how am I going to affect it will be the low frequency cut or slope and see it's at six dB per octave or you can do 18. Six dB per octave slopes off um, with a very uh, gradual slope where 18 dB is gonna be a steep slope. So it's gonna cut it off quicker 6 dB is going to gradually uh, cut it off. It's, there's a term called hysteresis. Uh, but if, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to um, start at 500 hertz and then gradually slope it off by 6 dB per octave. So for example, at um, 250 hertz, which is an octave below 500, I will have cut the signal by 6 dB. If I do it at 18 d per, oct per octave, then at 250 hertz, it will have been knocked down by 18 dB. Okay, so let's put our ear on this and so you can see the difference. Now, the reason I've got it set at 500, um, because you can go, you know, you don't even have to have it on at all. There's off. Um, but the deal is I listen at 550. That's just my comfortable side tone. So... If I, there's no need for me to have the radio produce frequencies below 500 and have those included in the audio. So I set it at 500 because I'm listening at 550. And I'll be honest with you, you could go up to 550. There's a, again, something called hysteresis. In other words, these, the filters are not a brick wall. There's always gonna be a little spillover, if you will. So um, it, the maximum on this one is 1000. And you get to that point and you're really, you're attenuating, listen. I'll wait till he comes back in. Um, so again, this is, you got a low cut, you can do the same thing for high. So there's, it's two essentially parametric style EQs. Um, I'll wait to, for the other guy to send. Well, I guess I can adjust up and All right, I'll listen to this guy. All right. So again, you see by going up to a thousand with that. 18 dB per octave, I'm really knocking him down. Now I'm going to change it to 6 dB, see? You can hear you can hear the background noise, you can hear a little bit of the ringing. Eighteen dB is knocking it down because it's steep as opposed to the gentle slope at 6 dB. Okay, so back over to the frequency as I lower the frequency, I'm changing the point where it begins sloping off, so it's gonna be a little louder. So you just gotta find where you like, the you know, what sounds best to you. And I'm, since I'm set at 550 for my uh, side tone, I generally put it at 500, and then I let it have a gentle slope. Again, I could do 18 dB and, and create more of a brick wall, but you can see it also knocks the volume down a little bit. So I find that six is a, is a nice happy medium. So now let's go up to the high cut. You can adjust it down to 700 Hertz 
or up to 4,000 or, or off. But again, what I'm doing with this is I'm helping out my DSP unit, um, the filters here. I'm, I'm adjusting in the audio chain how much I'm going to uh, allow through the filter. So I'm, in other words, here I'm saying I don't want to hear anything above 700 hertz. Well, how much do I not want to hear anything above 700 hertz? 18 dB per octave. So again, there's 6 dB, so I, it's a more a gentle slope. But listen to a little bit of the ring in there. 18 takes a little bit of that edge off. And again, I mean, the ring you're hearing is at 550 hertz. So it begins to slope off with this high filter, it starts sloping at 700, and then I'm just determining do I want that to be a gentle slope or more steep. And again, if I'm if I'm going to listen at 550 or even 600 hertz, I drop this thing all the way down to 700, and then do 18 dB per octave. I, in other words, I want to block everything above 700 hertz as much as possible. So the one that makes the most sense, though, for C, uh, most sense, the most difference for CW is going to be the uh, the lower um, cut frequency. And again, I use uh, 500. I could go to 550. You know, it's still the hysteresis allows 550 to still get through, and 6 dB per octave. So I'm not, you know making a brick wall so much as I'm just gently sloping that off. Again, there's 18, and that is almost a brick wall. But you hear what it does to the volume. It's a, it's, it's a matter of comfort. If you're listening through headphones, 18 is actually a good setting because you're going to hear everything very well with 18, and 18 is going to knock out even more of that background ringing. Hear it? The difference? Yes, he gets louder at six, but but there's more of the the background ringing. Let me turn the volume up so you can hear it. See, hear that ringing? Eighteen knocks it down. So find what works for you. But in general, for sideband, I set the frequency at five hundred, maybe five fifty, um, and then um, for the low whatever you prefer, 6 dB per octave or 18, and then high, 700. Bring it all the way down, low as it'll go. Uh, I would personally wish Yesu had allowed that to even go down to 600. Uh, and then 18 dB, definitely use 18 dB per octave for your high cut, because again, anything above 700 hertz, I just don't wanna hear. Okay, I'll do, shoot a separate video for uh, some sideband settings, but I wanted you to see, um, you know, these videos will be too long if I tried to cover them all at once. But there, that uh, starts at, at um, 53 in your menu and then goes up through 56. 53, what frequency do I want to cut on the low end? It's, it's called shelving. I'm going to say 50, 500 hertz, and then after that I'm going to start sloping the um, audio down, attenuating it, if you will. And the amount of the attenuation here is going to be 18 decibels per octave or 6 decibels per octave. Again, meaning if I'm set to 500 at 250 hertz, it's, it's going to be diminished by 18 dB uh, or by 6 dB. And then high cut, 700 hertz, only because that's as low as it'll go. All right, hope you find this video helpful and informative, and I promise you guys that don't do CW, I will shoot a separate video for what I do for my audio settings on sideband. Uh, there's even separate settings for AM, believe it or not. Okay, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.